Hello friends, this video on life processes part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again. So let us now look at the different life processes. So what are the different life processes? I mean, as I said, there are so many things happening inside our body that instead of learning about all so many different things, it is better that we categorize them into groups. So now we will study about each type of life process. So what are the different life processes? Nutrition, respiration, transportation, excretion, Control and coordination, reproduction, growth and development, and movement. So these are the eight life processes which together constitutes a living organism. Right? So by looking at the names, I think you can guess what are each of them. So let us have a quick introduction of each of these life processes. What do each of these life processes do? So let us start with nutrition. Are you familiar with the word nutrition? I am sure you are because we have often heard of the term nutrients. What are nutrients? Something which is good for food materials which are good for our health. You would have seen that there are so many advertisements coming up on your television that uh, this is with, for some health drinks or some biscuits or some cornflakes for which they will say that it is extremely nutritious. It has all the essential nutrients which are good for your body. Right? So nutrition, this life process is all about food. How food is obtained by an organism, how the food is taken in, that means intake of food. Now, once the food is taken in, after that, how is that food absorbed? How is that food utilized for energy? So these are the things which we talk about in nutrition. So that means in nutrition, we talk about how food is obtained. We also talk about the intake of food. We also talk about the absorption of food. We also talk about the assimilation of food. What is assimilation? It means how is that food utilized for getting energy out of it. Right? So it is all about that. So that is nutrition. The next is respiration. So what is this respiration? Respiration uh, will talk about two things. One is now in nutrition you have taken in the food and the food is now properly digested and absorbed. Fine. So the food is absorbed. But how do we know that absorbed food is going to give us some energy? So that part is dealt with in respiration. So the respiration has got two parts. One is one part which de will deal with the exchange of gases. So we will talk about exchange of gases wherein we will talk about the process of breathing and the other in the other part we will talk about the utilization of food to give energy. Like in respiration we are actually going to talk about how is energy produced from the absorbed food. Now in order to produce that energy we need some gases. So we will talk about that exchange of gases as well. So respiration is actually the process which deals with the production of energy from the absorbed food because energy is the primary thing. Energy is something which is needed by every living organism for performing all kinds of activities. Now the third one is transportation. So now we have taken in food, we have also produced energy out of that food. So till there it is fine. Now the thing is the body, especially in case of multicellular organisms, the body is quite complex, right? It is not that simple. You have so many cells inside that body and each and every cell needs energy to perform the activities, right? So, okay. Before I go ahead, I would like to mention one thing quickly that before you go ahead with this lesson, lesson, make sure that you have studied all the lessons of biology of class 9th because these are all in continuation with them, right? So as we will talk about cells, so you should have the idea 
of the function and the structure of cell in your mind. So if you want, you can refer to the videos of cell of class 9th. Okay, so now in transportation, what do we do? Now since each and every cell inside the body needs energy, so there has to be some way by which the energy which is getting produced should reach each and every part of the body. So in transportation, we will basically talk about how food or gases are transported to different parts of the body. So we will talk about how food or gases transported to different body parts. The next one is excretion. Excretion means waste removal. So during so many processes taking place inside our body, for example, during digestion or respiration or transpiration, during so many processes happening inside, there are many waste products which are also formed. So even though the processes are actually good for our body, but as a result of those processes, we are getting some certain things which are not useful for the body rather which are harmful for the body. So we should, we need to get rid of such substances. So removal of wastes is dealt by the process of excretion. So excretion is all about waste, waste removal. Now the next is control and coordination. What is control and coordination as the name says? Control, that means to regulate something coordination that means synchronization between different things so it is nothing but synchronization between the various organs of the body for example when we touch a bottle of hot water with our finger what happens we just move our finger back because we feel that it is very hot so how do we feel who decides that it is hot our brain Right? So that means there is a synchronization between our finger and our brain. So both of them together performed this reaction. Correct? So this control and coordination, that means this sensitivity regulation is performed by this life process called control and coordination. So it is nothing but synchronization between organs. Next is reproduction. Reproduction, what is reproduction? That is giving birth to young ones. So why is reproduction necessary? In order to sustain the species. So if a particular species stop reproducing, what will happen? It will become extinct. Right? So if reproduction continues, the same species will also continue. So even for reproduction also, we need energy. Next is growth and development. So when I talk about growth, so how does growth take place? It takes place internally, for example, our height increases or our hair grows. So these kind of growth is something which happens internally. It is not that we add something on our body externally, right? So now the size of the organism actually increases and how does it increase? There are two different ways. Maybe the number of cells constituting the body is increasing or the size of the cells are increasing. So in growth and development, we talk about two things. One is number of cells increasing or cells becoming enlarged and the last one is movement so movement is for example in case of animals animals as a whole can move from one point to another point whereas in case of plants their roots are kind of fixed so they cannot move from one place to another however they can also perform certain movements with their branches or leaves. So when air blows, their branches move, their leaves move. So there are some movements, but they are not completely movable from one place to another because their roots are fixed at, a, at one point. Right? So these are the different life processes which actually constitute any life form. So if all these processes are happening inside our body, so that shows that the organism is living now if any of these life processes fail the organism will face certain problems these organisms might fall ill so it will not lead a healthy life in that case so now if you want to remember the different life processes so that you do not forget what are the important life processes so you can just take down the first letter of all of these life processes so you see what do you get 
NCRT. So NCRT is something which all of you knows, right? NCRT GM. So this is a, an abbreviation of the first term. So NCERT, N is for nutrition, C is for control and coordination, E for excretion, R for respiration, R for reproduction, T for transportation, G for growth and M for movement. So you can remember this NCRT GM. So this NC, with this you can remember the name of the different life processes. So now our agenda in this lesson is to talk about some of the basic life processes. So in this lesson we will restrict our study to the first four life processes that is nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. So we will talk about these four life processes here. However, we will talk about all these life processes in our class 10th syllabus. So in our next lesson we will talk about control and coordination then in the further lesson we will talk about reproduction and then about growth and development. So you got an idea about the agenda of what are we going to study in biology in class 10th. So I think that this introduction was good enough to give you an idea about life processes. So with this, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.